double the amount of money that you have. So exactly. in the course of building your wealth, wealth, that is where you understand all these principles and you go through it. So you must be able to do it. The, all the thing I'm saying is that you have to have that mindset that I'm not going to steal. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to kill. I don't need to bring anybody down just to be up there. Mm. I must be able to work myself up to that ladder. Mm. Then you are creating it. So when you are able to get to where you want to get to, you'll be so proud of yourself mm. and say that, look, this is me. If you talk about wealth creation, I spoke about the emotional part of it. Mm -hmm. Anybody who is creating wealth naturally is somebody also who believes in investing in society. Okay, so if you create money, somebody says, this is my money. This is my money. No, those who create wealth believe strongly. I like what you said. You said something that X, Y, Z is for the people. Mm -hmm. Why is it for the people? Why are you running a very wonderful organization and the people are your focus? That is how life is. Anybody who build wealth, think about the people. Mm -hmm. The people, you are doing it for the people. So people who have wealth creation mentality, they always say that service before self. Mm -hmm. Okay, I believe I need to serve before I come in. And those who have money-making mentality say serve before service. Mm -hmm. I need to make it before I think of other people. Okay, so you need to come to that realization that it is possible for you to get to any level of your life. Any level of life is possible for you to get there. But you must work your way to that level, level. gradually. Be very prudent in your work. Be very effective in your work. You are working in an environment where you are supposed to report at 5 a.m. in the morning. You don't come at 6 o'clock. What are you doing? You, you are breaking integrity. You are being paid to come at 5. Why are you coming at 6 o'clock? You are being paid to come at 7. Why are you coming at 8 o'clock? And you come and tell me that, yes, I came at 8 because there's traffic. I came at 8 because there is this. Then you start giving the excuses. As we were saying that, Dr. Ado was talking about, you don't need to give excuse. Anybody who wants to create wealth, you don't give an excuse. You need to make sure that you work your way and get to the top of your life. Mm. You are supposed to do this. Whatever you are supposed to do, that is what you are being paid for. Mm. And out of what you are doing is what you create the worth. You see, one of the things you need to understand, you don't work because you want to work. You work because you want to build your vision. Mm. Every work you are doing, you are doing it because of your vision. So if I come to an environment and I'm working in an environment, I must have a vision. Mm -hmm. It's my vision that brought me into that environment. And your vision is where you can create your worth in. Your worth is in your vision. Mm. So your vision. So I come, I said, oh, this is what I want to become in the next 10 years. This is what I want to become in the next 20, 20 years. And for me to become this in the next 20 years, that is why I want to find myself in this environment. This environment will help me to push me. It will give me the leverage for me to be able to climb and get to where I want to get to. So you find yourself in an environment, not because you want to be in an environment. You find yourself in an environment because your vision needs that environment. So if I come into that environment, I came because of my vision. That is why I don't need to compromise on my values. Because if you do anything and you lose that environment, it affects your vision. Mm. So people who come into environments without having vision, without knowing where they are going, they distort the environment. They, cut, they, they, they cause a lot of challenges to that environment because mm. they have nowhere going. Mm. And if you have nowhere going, any road will get you nowhere. Mm. So you, we need to get to that understanding. We need to get to that meaning and understand that we want to create wealth. That is why we find ourselves in the environment. But can you have a, a, a vision that is different from a vision of, say, for instance, an organization that you work with? No, if you, that is why when you come to every organization, you must know the vision and mission of the organization. Mm -hmm. If you know your vision and your mission does not correspond to what they have, you have conflict. Okay, you have conflict. So you need but to... But can you get used to it? Yeah, you have to get used to it. Because that, that is why when you get into every organization, at mm -hmm. your interview level, you'll be, you, you be asked, do you know the vision of the organization? That is why anybody going to any organization, you mm -hmm. must know the vision of the organization before you go for the interview. Mm -hmm. Okay? It must, have, it, it must have a link to where you are going. If it doesn't have a link to you, you have to come to a certain level. Because all that I'm saying that, probably where you want to get to, you are not getting it. Mm -hmm. But you can pass here before you get to the next level. You must know why you are here. So you must compromise. You, you have to compromise. You have to compromise because, you see, there's difference between job and work. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay? You have to start your life with job. 
and from job it will move you to your work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your job, your job is what gets you to your work. Mm -hmm. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm I must compromise. I'm compromising because I find it as a job. Mm -hmm. Because out of this job, I'm going to learn certain things out of the job. Maybe you don't have work ethics. You don't have this. You don't have that. So because I want to learn work ethics, I want to learn this, and I'll find myself in there. So although that is not exact what I want to do, but the principles and the and the things I will learn them will help me for me to be able to build on what I want to do. So it's not about the, even just about compromising, but it's about working your way to the top. Mm -hmm. You see, wealth creation is a process. Creating wealth is a process. And that process, we must be able to understand the process. Nobody, you can't jump to the top. Anybody you see that the person is at the top started somewhere. There is a story to every success. Mm. And we are not interested in the stories. We are interested in the sources. But it's the stories that make the sources. So why do you have to cut the story and want the sources? And that is why the world we are living in, everybody have got into what I call a quick rich mentality. Mm. Everybody wants to just be successful. Somebody see you driving a car and the person wants to drive a car overnight. Somebody see you living in a nice house, want you to live in a nice house overnight. overnight. Somebody see you wearing nice suit, want to wear nice suit overnight. And when you when people start seeing those things and they are not interested in the, in the story, that is why I believe in what you are doing. People must, must hear the story that it is, not an, it is not an overnight success. It is something that has been worked. So if you also want to get to that level, you must be able to take your time and work your way to the top of your life. Everybody must have a bit patience. Success is patient. Mm. If you are not very patient, Bill Gates says that success is patient. If you are not very patient, you can never be successful. You don't have to be in a haste. You must build it. It's a muscle you are building. Anytime you become successful faster than yourself, you kill yourself. Mm. People are dying because their success has outlived them. Mm. Anything that is ahead of you will kill you. Mm. You have to be ahead of everything. You should be able to handle anything that you are growing in it. So as you are, you are living, don't look at somebody. You want to build wealth. You want to create wealth in integrity. Just take your time and build yourself. Start from the level at which you are. Grow gradually. Let people inspire you. Let people drive you. Be inspired by what people are doing. But make sure that you grow gradually. Build yourself. God is in, in his own wisdom. Make sure that before a child will be born, that child must go through what I call a nine-month process. Mm -hmm. That process, why is it that when you the woman uh, conceived, that very day the woman didn't give birth? Can't mm -hmm. God do that? God is teaching us patience. Even when you give birth to that child, you must also take time. Mm -hmm. You can't force the child. Can you give birth to a child and you say that, yes, I've given birth to you, you are my child, so go and fetch water for me. <laughs> you can never do that. Mm -hmm. You must have patience. Mm -hmm. So for you to create wealth, patience is number one. Mm. Everybody must have patience. People are too much in a haste. But it's not easy. Oh. Yeah, but if you, if you, the issue is that if you don't build that patience, you will crash. Mm. So, so many young men are crashing. That mm. is why you see people on drugs and all those things. They are, they've crashed. People are going through challenges. Mm. You see women find themselves in certain lifestyle. It's because they are, they've crashed their life. Mm. The life is crashed. How do you psych yourself to believe consistently or constantly that, look, you need to be patient, you need to bid your time and walk through the, the, the ropes and eventually you'll get there? And how much time is enough? It, it, it all depends on where you are going. If I'm traveling from here to Tamale and the same somebody is, is in another car traveling to Kumasi and somebody is traveling to Sawam and somebody is traveling to Achimota and we all set off at uh, maybe New Plant Station. I mean, you should know that I'll, if, if I'm going to Tamale, it will take me a long time to get there. So it depends on where you are going in life. But if you don't know where you are going, I mean, you just alight anywhere in life. So you must know where you are going, that this is where I'm going. This is my vision. Look, when we study somebody like Abraham Lincoln, he became the president of America. But it took him a long time to get there. Sure. The, what Abraham Lincoln went through to become a president, Barack Obama didn't go through that. Okay, Barack Obama also have his story. But he didn't go through what 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 Abraham Lincoln went through. Mm. It depends on where you are starting from and where you are going. And you build it. Success is built. It's something that you grow. You grow it gradually. You don't rush it. You don't do anything. You grow it gradually. You build it over time. Mm. Believe in what you are doing. 
have confidence in what you are doing mm. and keep going gradually. Mm. The, the one thing that you have to know if you want to build success is you have to understand what I call the business legs. The business legs are very mm. important. You see, at every given time in your life, there are things that you have and there are things that you don't have. Mm. Okay. When you look at the business legs, there are three important things that, that helps you for you to be able to build a business. First of all, you need knowledge to build a business. Okay. So people must be able to acquire knowledge. Knowledge must be something that you have to acquire. It is what helps you to build business. Every business is built on knowledge. Other people will call it idea. You must be able to, that knowledge you want to build a business on, you must be able to work very hard and acquire that knowledge. Secondly, if you want to build business, you need money to build business. Money is needed in building business. Mm. So look at how long it took you to acquire knowledge. You must also be able to acquire, be able to accrue the money. You need the money also to build a business. Mm -hmm. So you must work very hard to, to do it. And then you must also make yourself available, give yourself time for you to do it. If you want to build a business, sometimes it's very challenging for you to probably have all these three at the same time. So what you need is that if you don't have one of them and somebody have, that is why you see people go into partnership. Okay, maybe I have the money, you have the knowledge. Can we come together and build with? You see, you are building wealth, mm -hmm. something that is going to last. So this, I have the money. I don't have this thing. You have the time. Can you give me the time? That is why somebody will say, I can give you my time. You buy the time and do it. So if you want to build business, you need money to buy other people's time. Mm -hmm. You need money to get knowledge. You need money to do all those things. So money is needed. Because money is needed, you must be able to build yourself up, work yourself to that level. You don't have to be in a haste. People must slow down and then use the right means to make money. Maybe, maybe let, let's get practical. I mean, maybe we can use you as, as an example. Mm. Maybe as you talk about the story behind the success. Yes. Maybe when you tell us how, you know, you, you, what, what your story is behind your success, maybe that, that, can, that can clarify a few issues. For instance, I mean, as in how much time do you need to be in the wilderness? Do you need a Jacob in Laban's house time mm -hmm. or what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that is why, that is why in life, you, you have to first decide your destination. Right. When you decide your destination, your destination will decide your route for you. Mm. Okay. So the route you get to your destination is very important. So you decide that, look, I want to get to this place and I want to start from here. Where do I go? Because of the destination, you know where to pass and who to is talk to. Is that what you did? That, that is what I did. And who to talk to. And the people you made them on your way as you travel. I mean, I started my life from, from zero. You know, uh, and uh, my my life story is 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 so wonderful. I mean, I I came from a family of five. I'm the number four in my family. I mean, we wow. we we came out of out of um, this family, a very poor background. We live we live in a house where there's no there's there's no toilet, there's no <laughs> bathroom. You have to wake up early morning. Uh, you don't have light in your house. And you need to live life. You need to grow your life. Okay. So coming from that background, I mean, mm. I lost my father very early in life and I became a street boy. I was selling coconut on the streets. I was, I was selling uh, on the street. I was selling polythene bag. Mm -hmm. uh, I was trying to just to find to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Through that, you decide that, look, this is where you want to get. That is why I, talk, I told you about the vision. You must have vision. Where do you want to get to? Where you want to get to is going to be very, very important. And out of where you want to get to, we'll be able to give you the kind of people that you need to work with them. Your vision will determine your friends. Your vision will determine the kind of environment you need to find yourself in. I was very fortunate that I gave my life to Jesus Christ. Mm. And uh, Jesus Christ, but be, be, because I gave my life to him, he was able to, to direct my path, help me, okay? Because I saw him as the, the source of my life. And I wanted to be very prudent. I wanted to walk in his ways. And that is what really helped me. Mm. I saw Christ very early in life. And it, it really helped me to be able to work with the principles of my life. Mm. That is why I believe in the integrity of creating the world. So if you have God on your side, God will help you 
to be very, 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 very careful in the journey that you are taking. Mm -hmm. So you will not try as much as possible to try to cheat people to get to the top of your life, to try to lie to get to the top of your life, to try to deceive people to get to the top of your life. But you take your time and you grow gradually. Then you can build your story one after the other before you realize God has gotten you to where you need to get to. Okay, uh, here's what we're going to do. Uh, shortly, we'll be inviting our listeners. Uh, the tons of messages are coming in already. I'll be sharing that with you with some key questions. Uh, later, phone lines will be activated as well. But let me remind our listeners, this is the Money and Investment uh, Series here on the Morning Express. And for those of you watching us, uh, who will be watching us, and of course, watching us on, on TV, uh, this is TV XYZ, and uh, we are bringing you the Money and Investment uh, Series in our Money and Investment Month uh, here on your screen. Screens. Uh, we are here with our guest, Kofi Addison. That's a uh, Reverend Dr. Kofi Addison. He's a business consultant and also a trainer and an inspirational and motivational speaker who's been walking us through, uh, you know, the processes of creating and growing wealth in integrity. What's been key in the conversation that we've had so far is, is the need to put a lot of emphasis and, and priority as far as integrity is concerned. No need for shortcuts. So when we come back from the break, we'll, we'll move to the next stage. Now, we've, we've, we've been able to understand the need to create wealth, how, how we go through, what, what are the process that we need to go through in creating wealth. So how do we grow it? And how do we, in, in, in as much as we are growing wealth, how do we uh, hinge this on integrity? Those are some questions that I'll be putting to you uh, when, when we go to the second hour of, or the, the second part of our conversation. But this is still TV XYZ. And of course, you're on Radio XYZ 93.1. We'll be back shortly.